Hello everyone and welcome back to the last video of this tutorial series. In last video tutorial, we have created this launch file to load our simulation. We created this full robot arm sim launch file for uh, loading our simulation. So before uh, launching this launch file, we need to build our workspace because we have made any, uh, many changes. So we need to launch a new terminal. You need to go to your CD and your workspace. Once you are in the workspace, I will show you the document as well and then I will do it side by side. So here you need to first when you arrive here, suppose after you launch the file, if you get any error related to that uh, controller manager, then you need to run this catkin clean command before building your workspace. But since we haven't checked whether we are getting the error, I will not run this. First, I will source the bash file. Again, there are some uh, drawbacks of running that clean file. You can check the note in the document. And once the command is completed, I will press enter. So now my source file is uh, that uh, setup.bash file is source. I will build my catkin workspace. So run the command catkin build. If you use catkin make, then use catkin make. So our package is uh, built successfully. We are ready to go. Before we launch the launch file, you need to uh, again, you need to again source the bash file because it will get created freshly after building. Okay, press enter. Now you need to start the ROS master in a new terminal before you launch your file. So here is the new terminal. Click here and type ROS core and press enter. So the ROS core or ROS master is started. Now come to this terminal and type the command. Here you will again get the command. Sorry, here. So take this command. Otherwise, I will type. Okay, I will type. Type the command ROS launch your package name and the launch file which you written. If you named it similar to me, just copy and paste. Now press enter. Keep an eye on this terminal. The basically the errors. I will maximize this terminal first. So the RVs is ready. Also Gazebo is ready like Gazebo is also launched and RVs is also launched. So first we will check whether that controller error is gone. So if I come here, now you can see the controller error which appeared when we first checked our video. Sorry, first we checked our uh, package. You can see the video link here. So that error is gone. Only the error available is this uh, sensor plugin error because we haven't used any Octomap updater or anything, then we, have, we haven't given any PID gain for our uh, ROS controllers. So that error will also come, but you can ignore that. Except, except these two errors, you should not get any error. Like your uh, planning scene should start properly. Your move group should be loaded properly. And here also you should not see any error. Again, you can come here and you can see here somewhere that your controllers are loaded properly. You can see here the controllers are started properly. Now we are ready to go. So I will first take the RVs and size it properly so that we can see gazebo as well as the RVs window side by side. Now time for gazebo. Just zoom it little bit so that you can see it carefully, sorry, uh, properly. Now, our both the windows are aligned properly. You can see here first, here is the planning tab in that you can see the planning groups that we created using the uh, setup assistant while creating the move it package. You can watch the video here. Then 
for arm group when we select the arm group it will show the links in this group by orange color with this uh, access system because we have selected the kdl server solver for the arm group if you switch to hand group you will see these two links are highlighted the end defector links but there is no access system because there is no solver for them okay now if you go to the hand group or any group you will see the by default poses which we created while creating the package in move it setup assistant the hand group only has two poses open or close but the arm group has various poses as we created okay so now to start planning first of all you need to select the planning group the current start state will be the current state only because it is available in this state the goal state i will set to like a straight up and i will click on plan so arvis will first plan how to reach to this position by setting different angles to the joints once the planning is done you can click on execute to send the command to the gazebo i will resize it properly so that you can see whole robot so you can see the command is properly sent to the gazebo as in the checking video which is seen that it was not communicating with the arvis but now it is communicating if you come to the terminal it will show that the successfully executed the all the commands you can see you can read the things but you can see here completed trajectory execution with status succeed so our package is now properly configured again i will show some more things to you so first we will again give another command like uh, first of all we will open our end effector so if you come here sorry i will keep uh, like i will show you first select the hand group and select the uh, position hand open and you can directly click on plan and execute so it will plan and execute simultaneously you can see the gripper is open here as well i will show again like if i close click on plan and execute then you can see here as well if you again click on open and plan and execute you can see here it plans and here it executes here the planning is little bit of slow you can see but yeah it is executed very fast again you can click close and plan and execute it will close so we need to keep it open plan and execute again i will resize it properly now we want to suppose we want to pick some object so we will give the position uh, we will go to the arm group again and we will select pick object pose and we will give it plan and execute now again i will go to the hand group i'm just simulating the scenario and click hand close it is closed now i will again go to the hand group the arm group and go to the uh, pose like place object opposite pose like it will keep the object here and plan and execute and now i will go to the hand group and open the hand and again i will go to the zero pose for the arm to set it to this its default position and i will also show you another thing how you can suppose you want to set it to any uh, your custom state if you come to here you will see you can use this arrow to switch between tabs you will see here the joints tab here you will see the sliders you can slide them to set uh, some custom position you can see the joint names so i will set some weird position this also rotates and i will again go to the planning and click on plan so the arvis will plan how to reach to that position by setting the angles of the links i will click on execute and again you can try to uh, like move the links it sometimes uh, may work or may not but uh, like you can also try to move this link like this so it is not moving along this side cuz you can keep take it like upward but yeah you can try to uh, move your robot using this access system i will not show like it is taking too much time so 
we are done our package is ready to simulate in next tutorial series we will see how we can control this using python script so that we don't need to use this gui we can directly add some objects here we can uh, give the python command to uh, using python script we can give the commands to this robotic arm to uh, pick those objects we can also use some re uh, image recognition to uh, do uh, automate this robotic arm it will automatically pick the object and place it somewhere using this robotic arm we can also may make a simulation of color sorting color sorting objects we can add some conveyors and this robotic arm can sort the objects according to their color again if you have the real robotic arm you can also interface the real robotic arm with it, it we will see it in upcoming tutorials so thanks for watching stay tuned and subscribe to my channel thank you